know that the Chernobyl exclusion zone has wildlife? But did you know that the destroyed reactor itself has life as well? Hi everyone, astrobiologist here to talk about some truly extremophile life. In April of 1986, a reactor in a nuclear power plant in Chernobyl, Ukraine exploded. It created a danger zone of over a thousand square miles. The danger zone is full of what's called gamma radiation, which is light but it's light that is millions of times more energetic than what we see with our eyes. Now, the gamma radiation in the destroyed reactor is so intense, even today, that less than one second of exposure is the equivalent of a human lifetime's worth of regular radiation exposure. Nonetheless, something lives there, a mold called Cladosporium spherospermum. It looks like this. It's not black mold, it's actually a similar household species, and it's black because it's full of melanin, which is, yes, the same stuff that protects humans whose ancestors evolved in sunny climate. Melanin is a really unique and ancient molecule. It evolved billions of years ago to protect our single-celled ancestors from the sun. This is so fascinating because this creature is not evolving a new feature, it's dusting off an old one that it evolved billions of years ago, back when the Earth was more irradiated than it is today. So you have this life form that is adapting to a brand new environment, only decades old, by falling back on stuff that it learned how to do billions of years ago. But that's not even all, because when scientists scraped this stuff off the wall and started studying it, they found that it does not just tolerate gamma radiation, it's actually photosynthesizing gamma radiation because it doesn't have any other organic material to process. This actually has application for us here on Earth and even in space because a fungus like this could help us clean up any kind of radioactive events and it could be used as organic shielding for astronauts to protect them from radiation in space. That's all for today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.